Hey everybody, this is David at Barnyard Bees. Just a few things I want to talk about today, mostly going out to the the brand new beekeeper of 2021. And I just gandering in this little split that I done here not too long ago. It's an eight framer. And they look like they're building up pretty good. We went from a took it from a five frame up to a to an eight frame. It was uh, building up pretty good, and so we went ahead and moved it over and feeding it heavy. We're still in goldenrod here, so they're still building up for the winter. And it, it was overcrowded in the the five framer, and we didn't want to split any more into another five framer, so we went ahead and moved them over to an eight, and we're gonna let them build build up here. So that's what we got going on here. But anyway, what I want to talk about, we've had tons of rain here. You can see this, uh, this is not a stream that runs regularly. This is just like a flood ditch at the bottom part of the property where we have the bees. And we've had, and probably all over the country, we've probably had a lot of rain, especially here in the east. We're getting a lot of that uh, a hurricane effect, uh, tropical storms and such coming up from the coast. So. Uh, a lot a lot of rain, but what I wanted to talk about today was uh, new beekeepers uh, that's thinking about starting colonies out in 2021 Some things that you need to do to prep to get ready. This is just kind of trying to help out the brand new beekeeper now look the best thing to do is Is go ahead and get you first of all get you some bees ordered whether you want to start off with a, a five frame nuke or a package of bees. Now the best way to do and get started and the things, find out what you need, I mean, I can tell you on here, but you can call our store and they will tell you exactly what you need to get you started, to get you going, to get you some bees for 2021 season. Now, what you, what you normally need or what most people get is, of course, they'll get, if you get a nuke, now remember you got to, a five frame nuke so you're already started off with an established hive some people like to go that way and other people like to start off with a go a little, little bit cheaper route that's not a whole lot with a package of bees and then that way they can watch it grow and build up from ground zero from nothing from nothing all the way up so some people like to go that route and learn the whole experience it just depends on what you want uh, now normally you're going to need a smoker you're going to need a hive tool, you're going to need a bee, a bee suit, and you're going to need, uh, you know, a, whether you get an 8-frame hive, a 10-frame hive, or a 5-frame nuke, it just depends. Now, a lot of that to the new beekeeper is kind of, I know they don't understand exactly what I'm talking about. So the best thing to do is go back in our archive and watch the videos, and you'll learn just by watching those. And if you're still not sure... Uh, call the store and we'll be glad to talk to you what you need to, to do to get started uh, Call the store 706-971-2700 or uh, Barnyardbees.com to order your stuff or whatever you need now r Remember the new beekeepers the earlier Most people I don't think have even started taking orders yet for uh, Package of bees. We always get a very very early start so the earlier you get you get your order in, the quicker you're going to be able to get your bees installed. Now, what we advise, it, it's always best. Now, it's not a sales pitch, but you can ask any experienced beekeeper. It's always best to start off with two colonies at least. Because that way, because you're learning from nothing. So say if you get a colony for some reason that's not doing well, you won't know the difference. You'll think it's the norm. So when you have two or more, you're able to compare the difference between the two. And you can re use resources from one to feed the other. You can move frames over and such. You've got to look at all that stuff in our uh, video archive to, to find out how to do that stuff. But it's uh, that's what I advise most of all in, in this video here is telling the brand new beekeeper, start studying from here until spring. Don't go into it blindly. Start uh watching videos we have tons of videos go back and watch all our how-to videos how to install package bees 
uh, how to start off with a nuke. We have that, all that in our videos. Go back and watch them. That's the best piece of advice I could give you. It's just go back and watch those videos and then do your study and do your homework. Go ahead and get your bees ordered now. So if you want to go ahead and get you two packages of bees, go ahead and either call the store or order them on barnyardbees.com or wherever you get your packages. But I'm just saying, go ahead and get them on order now. That way you'll get them early because it's you, you would rather not have your bees in June. You, it's much better to get them in March and April while the nectar flow and everything is really strong. Depend, now, of course, depending on where you're at in the country. So remember that. So you're here in the south, you know, you want... You want bees as quick as you can uh, get them here in North Georgia. We like to have uh, bees ready for people March. So usually towards the end of March is when the first ones uh, go out. So just remember that. And, uh, and keep in mind, too, that we do have a very, very gentle stock of bees. Go, then there again, go back in our archive and watch. Watch that video where I was pulling those... Uh, those bees out of the school up there, the you'll see where I was pulling, picking them up by my hands, you'll see how gentle they was. That makes a huge difference, especially with a new beekeeper that's scared of bees and they have a little bit of fear in them. You, you want bees, you do not want aggressive bees. Aggre aggressive bees do not make more honey. That's a myth. Don't ever believe it when somebody tells you that because if that's the case, we'd all be uh, going after Africanized bees because they're the meanest. If that was the case, the, the mean, aggressive, Africanized bees is what everybody would use. They would just use heavy bee suits to get more and more honey. It makes sense. So, so just remember that when somebody tells you that uh, calm, gentle bees don't uh, produce as much honey, that's a myth. So that's about it, folks. I just want to put a little video out there to the new beekeeper and to remind you to go ahead and get your bees ordered. Get the study in early. Know what's going on. Know what you're doing when you start your 2021 bee season and you want to be knowledgeable, very knowledgeable. Also, uh, they make a great Christmas gift, hives and packages, and you know somebody that interested in getting started in bees. It's, it's a great way to get started is to uh, get them a gift for Christmas and a gift card. We sell them also at the store. So that's about it. I'll quit rambling. Don't forget, folks, click on the little bell, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Barnard Beast.